The tide to your table. Today we're going to make a beautiful seared mahi with a roasted tomato pepper coulis that is going to be perfect for your table. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are. And as always, pre-preparation, otherwise known as Mason Plus, is everything. So we've done everything ahead of time. We've blanched the garnishes, which are the broccolini, or in this case, actually, broccoli rob. We've seared some beautiful sweet tomatoes. We've charred both New Jersey tomatoes as well as peppers and skinned them, as you can see in the corner and prepared some roasted garlic. And then we've also taken some cockles, which you could use anything really. You could use Little Max. I love cockles, they're beautiful. We've kept that broth in case we need a little bit to thin it down. And we're gonna make this red pepper coulis, sear the fish, put it together. It's gonna be great. All right, so now we're gonna go over to our blender. Now these are four beautiful red bell peppers and two not concassate tomato, but pretty much so. And, and Captain Dan will put that up in the, uh, we showed you how to do that in another episode. Really, you just boil, slit them, boil them, peel them, seed them. And this is gonna go right into the blender. And to that, we are going to add about five anchovy fillets. Now, why am I using anchovy fillets? Well, first of all, it's fish, right? And secondly, you know I like to replace salt with other ingredients because food that's too salty isn't very good, in my opinion. So we're going to replace the salt, much like we do sometimes when we use salted butter, we're going to use the anchovies. Now we're going to take, as you saw from the video before, about five cloves of roasted garlic. I'm going to snap the top on this baby. We're going to blend it. And we're going to see how thick it is because if it needs to be thinner, all we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the clam juice or the cockle juice, okay? So as always, we're going to taste it, okay? Okay. So immediately it jumps out to be, there's two things wrong with this. One, it doesn't have enough salt. And two, it's a little too viscous. So we're going to add another two anchovy fillets. And then we're gonna take that cockle juice and we're just gonna thin it out a little bit with that beautiful salty cockle juice, which again will add natural salt, which is gonna be beautiful and delicious. So now that we have all our pre-prepped on, otherwise known as mise en place, this is gonna be real fast to put together, okay? So we're going back to my go-to Wondra, put a little bit on a plate. You don't need a lot. And we're gonna take a beautiful, fresh New Jersey mahi filet, and we're just gonna coat it in that Wondra top and bottom, and then we're gonna saute it quickly in olive oil, put the plate together, and we're there. So in the meantime, what I've done is I've taken just a handful of cockles, beautiful cockles, they're just gorgeous shells, they're sweet, they're delicious. It's actually the liquor that we use to thin down the broth a little bit, and that's gonna be part of the garnish. Okay, so we're gonna take this beautiful mahi and we're gonna lay it down top side first. See how that sizzles and nice and hot? So we're gonna heat up our julienne peppers and onions, okay, for the garnish. And then what we're gonna do is in the other pan, we're gonna take some blanched rapini or broccoli rob and some beautiful sweet roasted cherry tomatoes as garnish and just heat these up so slightly these are the cockles that are going to be the garnish for this dish and they're going to be all right while this is all heating up we're going to take a little bit of Valbone sea salt and a little bit of cracked pepper on the top of that and just let it continue to cook we're going to finish it in the oven we're going to assemble this dish and it's going to be awesome so as this is finishing up as always, we're gonna post the ingredients at the end of the video, but please comment, let us know what you think of the recipe. If you have a great mahi recipe that you'd like to share with us, please do. We're all about learning from each other. 
Because that's perfect for your taste. Okay, so now that that is beautifully seared, crispy on the outside from that wandra, we're just gonna transfer it back to the pan that we roasted the uh, peppers on. Now, why are we doing that? I don't know about you, but I hate doing dishes and pots. Why dirty too. Perfecto. All right, it's ready to plate it up. So gorgeous. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our beautiful roasted tomato red pepper coulis from the blender or the food processor. We're gonna take a several, couple several ounces of it. We're gonna put it in the middle and we're gonna just spin it around here a little bit. See, you see those little bits of roasted pepper, just gorgeous. Now we're gonna take our perfectly roasted, hand-seared and roasted piece of mahi on top of that. Look how gorgeous that looks, all right? Now we're gonna bring our garnishes over, all right? So our garnishes are gonna be some julienne roasted red bell pepper, green bell pepper and onion. Just gonna put that little bit on top of that, okay? Look how gorgeous that looks. Then we're gonna take some of those beautiful roasted tomatoes. And I'm big on uneven, so we're gonna do three. They're perfectly caramelized. We're gonna do three cockles. How beautiful does that look? We're gonna take some roasted garlic right on top, and then we're gonna take some broccoli rabe or rapini, or if you choose to use broccolini, that's fine. A couple little more pieces of, and wow, does that not look absolutely decadent. So as always, we're gonna clean the plate and we're gonna bring Captain Dan in for the first bite and a little sampling of something special. That All I right, so we're almost there, but I really wanna tailor make it for the skipper good. who put us on fish all season, really stuck it out, and we are so grateful to have the opportunity to fish with you. So we're gonna finish this dish with a couple of things. You ready? We're gonna take a little bit of Spanish olive oil and we're gonna drizzle, drip it around, which adds just some beautiful flavor. Danny, I know how much you like anchovies. So we're gonna take an anchovy or two, cross that on the top. Now folks at home, you don't have to do this, but this is for a lot of gratitude from the skipper. All right. And then on top of it, Skipper, I know you like Albarino. So I got, I researched myself and this is the Albarino of all Albarinos. Am I pronouncing it right? Mm -hmm. And it's from Galicia. First taste of the dish, mm -hmm. first taste of what I've done some research search on the Albarino mm -hmm. and let me know how we do. From Galicia, by the way. Ready? Mm -hmm. I can't hold the camera, I need it at the all same right, time. Yeah, all right. I'll help you. I got it, I got it. I got it? All right. How was it? Did you get the anchovy? No, I didn't. Yeah, get the anchovy because yeah. I know you like them. Okay. Roasted garlic. It's Ooh. really good. Wow. All right. Simple. Albanino is awesome. Goes so well with this one. Yes. It's a light dish, so simple, elegant, and delicious. So, Skipper, here's to you. Thank you. And folks, as always, practice catch and release or selective harvest. Stay safe out there. We'll see you in the water soon. This has been Captain Dan and Chef Mike from the Tide to Your Table. Cheers. <laughs>